So if you've ever wondered what one of these Amazon renewed refurbished phones is all about, check this video out. We're going to find out together. What is up you lovely lot? Welcome back to the channel and something completely different. Nothing to do with cars and bikes necessarily, but I decided I needed a new phone for the channel. So I ordered this here. It is one of the Amazon renewed refurbished phones through their refurbished program. If you go onto Amazon, you'll see there they've got a whole section of what they call Amazon. I think it's Amazon refurbished or Amazon renewed, something like that, whereby they tell you all about how their philosophy on being greener and renewing your phone, buying secondhand essentially as opposed to buying new it's better for the planet all that kind of good stuff i decided as i said that i needed a new phone so i've been looking for a samsung galaxy s20 ultra for quite some time but i was a bit hesitant and you know i kind of kept looking at it kept thinking about buying a used one because obviously the values there are phenomenal these were around about four, 1400 quid 1300 quid when they were new you can pick them up now i just picked up this one here for 266 pounds off amazon that included free shipping and you get a 12 month warranty as well which means you can return it to base now you have to remember this isn't necessarily through amazon it's through somebody who sells on amazon but if you've got an amazon prime account they're going to look after you trust me anyway we're going to get this open together see exactly what you get inside and i'll tell you how i bought it where i bought it and uh, we'll see whether it is actually worth buying one of these So there it is in its non Samsung box with what looks like a dirty cover on the top of it here. That's, uh, yeah, um, I mean, that looks like it's been sat in the garden for quite some time. No protection, completely pointless. They do state that these phones are immaculate and basically um, in excellent condition and you cannot see a mark on it from 30 centimetres away. Now that is around about kind of that distance. So we'll see if that is true to form. Let's move this box out of the way a second. There is the phone get rid of that and so far I have to say that looks pretty spot on we're going to go all the way around it together just to make sure that's the button side there's the top where you put your sim card no um, there's a tiny mark there I don't know if you guys can see that but there does seem to be a tiny little mark let's see if that will focus tiny little mark just there which is disappointing, but this is a used phone at the end of the day. If that is the only mark on it, bearing in mind I'm going to put a case on it anyway and a screen protector. So that is it. That is what you should expect to see from your package. I am actually signed up to a website called Hot Deals UK. Basically, I get an update every single day on the best bargains to be had that day. And if you put an alert in for whatever you're looking for, be it a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra or an S20 Plus or an iPhone, whatever, if you put an alert for that, every time somebody posts a deal for that you'll see that come up as one of your alerts so you log in once a day see if anybody's posted anything i've actually posted a few deals myself on hot deals uk brilliant 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 little website if you ever want to find something and say you wanted a garden shed and you wanted the best deal go, go straight to i'll put a link in the description just go to hot deals uk type in what you're looking for if there's nothing there you can set up an alert so as soon as somebody posts something yeah, you'll be told about it basically and you can save a fortune these phones were roughly mm, 300 and something quid everywhere else it's sometimes even more but I put an alert out on this and this came in at 266 now that is free shipping as I said so there's the phone let's see if we can switch this on ever so quickly we're doing this for the first time together guys so I don't know any more than you at this stage they do also say that it will have a minimum of 80% battery so uh, we'll see about that I press the button nothing is happening so I think we can safely assume that there is no battery in that whatsoever so what I'll have to do is come back in once we've charged this up and show you the screen everything else see if there is actually any marks on it it doesn't look to be at the moment so what else do we get in the box while we're waiting for the battery to charge up it is obviously just a very generic box I don't even know what that's for plus smartphone something or other 100% recycled no idea there's a very generic looking I'm assuming type C charger no charging brick whatsoever so that is pretty much what you get you get a crappy little generic type C charger and the phone no case no gel case no screen protector nothing that is what you'll get but bear in mind as I said these were 1350 quid or thereabouts brand new this was 266 shipped to my door and so far the only mark I can see is the one we found together just now which I'm struggling to even see now to be honest I think it's just there which is a shame and you can feel it 
and I can see it from 30 centimeters away so that's uh, yeah I mean that's 30 centimeters away and it's clear as day right there so yeah okay well I'm going to charge this up anyway and we'll come back and I'll show you me turning it on for the first time and we'll go from there and I'll give you my opinion is it worth buying one well, I'm afraid we have some bad news, guys. This uh, refurbished, renewed phone from, that we bought from Amazon, the S20 Ultra, doesn't actually turn on. Not quite sure if it's something to do with the black screen of death, which I have heard is a problem on some of these Samsung devices, but it just will not turn on. I've had it on charge for four hours. I've tried to do a forced restart as well by pressing the volume down and the power button. It does vibrate a little bit when you stick the USB Type-C cable in, but that's all it does. I mean, as I said, I've had it on charge for four hours. There's no indication either. Was normally when you put something on charge and you stick it in the bottom of here you'll see a little emblem of a battery getting higher and higher and all the rest of it, it doesn't do any of that it doesn't have a percentage bar it doesn't do anything it just basically sits there doing nothing i inadvertently pressed the power button three times and a bloody alarm went off which i thought was very odd but uh, yeah no it's it's not working so it's gonna have to go back it comes in a crappy box with a crappy dirty bag with a crappy generic type c charger and it doesn't work so uh, i can't recommend it guys i really cannot recommend buying from this seller i'll put a link in actually from where exactly where i bought this was i don't want you guys making the same mistake i'm not here to slag off the seller i'm just giving you my experience with buying one of these amazon renewed products it didn't work out well for me now i've got to go through the hassle of returning this it was 266 quid not very well spent and on top of that i bought a 256 gig samson evo sd card and a spigen case and a screen protector so now i've got all that stuff but i don't have a phone so that's not very good but what i will do is go back onto Hot Deals UK. I will put another alert out for an S20 Ultra from Samsung. And as soon as the next deal is posted up for that, I will buy one. But I maybe won't be buying one from Amazon Renewed, or I certainly won't be buying it from this seller. Anyway, that is it, guys. If you've considered buying an Amazon Renewed mobile phone, beware. It's maybe not quite as good a deal as it seems. This one doesn't turn on even. And that's how bad it is. And it comes in this crappy box with a dirty thingy, no screen protector, no gel case even, and the worst Type C charger you've ever seen but that is it that's my experience i hope it helped you out a little bit if it did and you like this kind of content consider subscribing to the channel we mainly concentrate on cars and bikes and product reviews but this was just a quick one i wanted to upload for you guys hope it helped as i said give the video a thumbs up a like and a share all that good stuff we'll catch up soon and don't forget to subscribe it takes you no time at all means the world to me brilliant all right guys take care now thanks for watching